Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be another review of the Tottenham game. Obviously we played Frankfurt last night. And it finished 0-0, a draw, obviously. And yeah, we're not talking about a win, we're talking about a draw. But a bit more positive. So if you do enjoy, do you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new around here. And be sure to let me know down below your thoughts of the game and yeah we're gonna get straight into it so this game against frankfurt i would tottenham were definitely the better side we controlled the game which we haven't we which we haven't really done this season too often so that was you know a positive to take for, away from the performance um we created a lot of chances we definitely should have scored and we definitely deserve to win unfortunately uh, we just could not get the ball into the back of the net, so, you know, it's what it is. But, definitely an improved performance. Um, and yeah, I would say I'm obviously disappointed and frustrated about the fact that we couldn't score. But I'm also happy with the performance somewhat. Um, because it was improved, you know, we created a lot more chances. And, you know, the approach to the game, we were pressing a lot higher. Um, I feel like Romero really stood out last night with his pressing and his aggressiveness. And it was more like a Romero performance of last season. Previous game before this one, he was a bit, you know, hit and miss. But this one, he was back to how he was last season. So that, you know, was a massive positive as well. Obviously, Frankfurt did also have a few couple of chances as well. They definitely could have taken more advantage of the chances they had. And yeah, but... All in all, it was a positive, improved performance from Spurs. I'm not worried at this stage. Um, the only thing that I was lacking in performance was that final pass, our, clinical, cl cl our clinicalness in front of goal, especially Richarlison and Zon Kane. Like, they had, like, I guess you could say they had the worst performances, if you want to say it like that the entire team like the defense and the midfield you know played really really well it just when it came to that in the final third it just was lacking a bit but people would like to compare this with nuno but under nuno we weren't even creating anything so i don't really think you can compare this performance with what a nuno performance would look like over the chances and it's just like the clinical nurse and like the link up play just wasn't there a hundred percent. But it'll come. I mean you don't have world class players like Son and Kane just for it not to. Um I do think we missed we do miss Kudaseski. Um his um, you know, decision making in the final third is always a hundred like top notch and so I do feel like we miss him a little bit. But going forward, I'm not like worried, like I'm not concerned you know we sit third in the premier league and we're you know i'd say we're in a good position in the table for champions league to qualify for the next round a disappointing frustrating result it being a draw but you know a clean sheet away from home like frankfurt like the atmosphere you know wasn't like they probably have one of like, the best you know best fans in like at home so and you know, we handled that quite well. If we're speaking about the lineup, because it was the same lineup, which was the same lineup against Arsenal, I was kind of just, well, kind of, well, not not really surprised, but um, I was kind of had a feeling that Emerson will probably start again, to be fair, because he's not going to be able to start the next three Premier League games. So it made sense. And to be fair to Emerson, he did actually have a decent game. Um, people with their genders will not want to admit that. But he did have a decent game, so I was, I was, you know, I was happy with Emerson. You know, he was getting forward quite a lot. He, he had a few chances as well. That dire pass, which was insane. Um, it maybe if he kept that down a little bit, then it could have ended up being different. But yeah, he, you know, he had a decent display, and I'm, you know, can't complain about Emerson because he did, he didn't really put a foot wrong last night, other than not scoring no chances. But you know, I could also say about the forwards as well. But, yeah, um, so, yeah, I feel like, yeah, I don't really have many negative things to say. It was just, obviously, at the time, the 
the final pass was frustrating when it's not when it's not made losing the ball and just being a bit careless but do you know what i mean it's a point away from home you take it it's just this overreaction it's like conte is the best manager we're gonna get um it's like some i i don't know how many like what how many fans it actually is but I've seen some fans being like, oh, Conte out, blah, blah, blah. If this was Nuno, we'd want him out. I'm thinking, we have Conte, one of the best managers in the world. And you want him out? Because, because what? Because he doesn't choose the players that you want him to choose. His tactics are not what, not what you want to see. Do you know what I mean? It's like, this is the way Conte's played. Every club he's been at. And he's won trophies, okay? Right, Conte's won trophies that every club he's been at, Tottenham. We played attacking, you know, just styled the Tottenham way, whatever, whatever you want to call it, under Pochettino, but we'd won nothing, okay? We didn't win anything playing that way. And yeah, it's probably, it was probably more a mentality thing than the actual football, whereas Conte has changed the mentality of the team, of Tottenham, and... We are, yes, our performances are not the greatest currently. Some performances have been good, like Fulham, Southampton, first game of the season. I guess you could say Leicester as well, even though, you know, you could say it was a hit and miss. But overall, winning 6-2, you can't complain of that. But then also that the Chelsea performance, we didn't play great, honestly. We, we deserve to lose, but we got a point out of our game. And we're winning games which... We're playing bad out, but we're still winning them. Whereas under Pochettino, we didn't have that. We either played well on like one most of the time, one most of the time, or we would play badly, but we wouldn't get anything. So I do think I don't I, I don't understand it myself. It's like Conte is the best manager we're gonna get. If you want Conte out, who do you think is gonna come in and change it? So you want Pochettino back? Is that what you're saying? And then we just go through the same cycle again. Like I don't get it. I, some of the Spurs fan base is just so confusing. It's like they can't be happy with what we got. We're sitting third in the Premier League. We're sitting second in the Champions League group stage. Um, hopefully on course to you know make it out of the group. Like we're we're not in a bad position. Yes, our performances are not what we want to see and you might not like the football even though this was the football was playing last season it's just the counter attacking is not working as well as it did last season for whatever reason but once you know Kane, Son, Richardson, blah like everyone their link up is better and the final decision the final decision making in the final third is what it should be then we are going to start scoring more goals like I would be worried if we weren't creating anything but the fact that we are still creating chances, still, you know, it's that the system is still somewhat working. There's reason to be positive there. And barring not scoring, I do think that's probably one of our best performances that we've had this season. Definitely an improvement on the against Arsenal. Um, so the cause of the worry, the cause of... I don't even know. I don't know where it is because they think our oh, content is going to leave at the end of the season anyway. So might as well just... Might as well... He might as well just leave now or i don't know i don't know what it is like if you have that mindset of oh conte out blah 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 or something regarding that comment down below why you saw last night we control possession which we don't normally do we were pressing higher you know like what more do you want like obviously we want to score we want to win but surely you should be happy that the performance was improved or you don't think it was improved I don't know. And it's just ridiculous. The fact, I have to keep saying it, we're sitting third in the Premier League. We're second in the group stage of Champions League. Like, I, I, I don't understand the reaction after some performances. Under Like, over Arsenal, yeah, we lost. So I can understand you're going to be extremely frustrated with that, like I was as well. But I kind of can see the bigger picture other than just acting on emotion. But then you see the performance last night. Yes, we didn't score. Didn't concede either. So there's reasons to be positive. But this whole 
it was a bore, boring game. We weren't playing that well. Other than us not scoring, it was a good performance. And yeah. I'm having to avoid Twitter so much. Like occasionally I, I break it and I go on there and I'm seeing all this stuff and I'm just like, you know what? No, that is the reason why I was avoiding it. And yeah, it's so, oh, I don't know what I'm more annoyed at. Like the overreaction or just people wanting content out for like, like if this, like let's be honest, under Nuno, we were terrible. Like we weren't creating chances. We were conceding amount, like loads of goals. Our running stats were literally 20. If like we were the worst running, running stats in the Premier League. Compare that with Conte, like it's, it's completely different. So to say, uh, if this was Nuno, we'd want him out. No. If we're seeing third in the Premier League, where we are in the current group stage of Champions League, I personally wouldn't be calling Nuno out, to be honest. No, I wouldn't. Because under Nuno, we would have probably lost to Chelsea. We would have lost to probably West Ham. We would probably have lost all those games that we didn't play well, but we won. So, no. If this was under, like, if it was under Nuno, I wouldn't be calling for him to be out because performances are not the best. But if you take other teams, for example, like Liverpool, they're not doing great in the Premier League. Let's be honest, they're not. They're off it currently. Um, Chelsea, they're not doing the best either. I mean, yeah, you could say like Arsenal being top of the league. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's just all down to Arsenal being top of the league. I think that's all just what this is. But if that is just the only reason why people are having such a massive freak out. Like, oh, Tottenham are like, it's going all downhill. Oh, they're doing this, they're doing that. Oh, Conte, oh, he's not happy. It's so, like, I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, all these opinions. And it's like, most, I think some of it is media driven. Because for some reason, there's a gender against Spurs and they just want Spurs to fail, or whatever. And it's like, oh, Conte's going to be doing this. Oh, how's Son not left yet? Oh, Kane's going to want to go in the summer. Oh, he's going by him. Or, like, just the just, just whole... Like, I, I don't get it. I don't. And it's just so frustrating. Like, I had to see it. But I'm like, you know what? I don't have to see it because I can avoid it. But it's just... Oh. And that's why I'm more, I'm more annoyed at the overreaction and, like, having to say these things every single game. And it's like, even when we win, do you know what I mean? It's like, what, what, what do people, what do fan, what do some fans want? What do they want? Like, it's what is wild, the expectations some fans have, because it's like, yes, we haven't, we haven't won a trophy in 14 years. We just about managed to fall for Conte last season. Like, imagine where we would be if we still had Nuno. Imagine. And you see where we are with Conte now, and we're not playing our best, but we're sitting third. It's so annoying, and it's like I have to keep repeating myself. I'm like, I can't keep saying the same thing over and over again after every single game. Like, even if we won, like, I'd want to be, like, positive. And, like, bad result last night. The performance was positive. It was an improvement. And I just, I don't get it. Maybe I'm missing something. What am I missing? Let me know down below what am I missing. Because I, I don't get it. <laughs> I just, obviously, Twitter is not every single Spurs I'm out there. But my God, you see a lot of it. Conte out, Conte this, or... And he said it himself at his press conference. He sees them all in training. Like, we the fans don't see them in training. So he picks what he thinks is the best team. And if he doesn't think Spence is ready to play, if he thinks Doherty's not at the fitness level he should be, then he's not going to start him. Like, yes, you can criticise managers. Yes, you can criticise the team selection, whatever. But I just can't stand it when fans think they know more than a manager. And especially a manager like Conte, who has won what he's won. Do you know, do you know, like, it's just, oh, it's just honestly the most 
frustrating annoying thing having to keep seeing it having to keep being like oh, not not biting do you know what i mean um and i see something and i see something on twitter and i'm just like you know what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get involved in that sort of argument but oh, that's my rant over yeah let me know down below your thoughts on anything that i have spoken about and let me know down below your thoughts on the whole overreaction situation and um last night was a good point away from home people might think oh you should be saying that but other than like the whole frustration and annoyance of not being able to score we created enough chances to win the game and we deserve to win so that's enough for me like the performance itself was improved the result not so much that we wanted but we can still make it out of the group we are still city third in the premier league and obviously our expectation is not to win the premier league this season we weren't not we're not gonna win we weren't gonna win the premier league this season and top four in the trophy is still possible so i'm not gonna get worked up about something that's not even happened yet um take the point move on move on to brighton which is i would say a must win game and hopefully we see um a more improved performance again but actually score it and obviously it's gonna be a tough game because they just they drew with liverpool so and they're on fire at the moment and it's at it's at a way isn't it the game so it's gonna be interesting i'm looking forward to it and hopefully we could be talking about three points but other than that this is gonna be the end of this frankfurt versus tottenham view and i'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video there will be a live watch along to the brighton game so be on my channel and join me so be a so be sure to subscribe tap that bell and i will see you guys with a brand new video very very soon bye guys